here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, his audio is up, but we're looking at a picture of his wall again, it looks like, right about now. We'll get that fixed in just a moment for you Twitch homies over there. Last night, the AW pay-per-view full gear. I thought this was the best AW show that they've ever done. I did not see the Serena Deeb, Allison K kickoff match, or whatever they call it. Dark match, but I heard it was it was very good. Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, a fantastic match. Kenny Omega won. He's now next in line for John Moxley's championship. That'll probably be the main event of the February pay-per-view. They went 16 minutes, 25 seconds. G1 caliber match. Kenny Omega looked awesome. Hangman looked great. Awesome opener. Orange Cassidy versus John Silver. John Silver's first major AEW match on pay-per-view. And they gave him a ton. And he looked great. The fans in the building loved the guy. But it's not his time. Orange Cassidy beat him. Very good match. Darby Allen, Cody Rhodes. As I talked about in the show we did Friday when we were doing previews, they ended the show on Wednesday with the angle to set up this match of all of the matches. And there were some great matches coming up for full gear. The main event of Dynamite was not something involving the Young Bucks or Kenny Omega and Hangman or John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. It involved Cody and Darby Allen. I knew immediately Saturday night's the night for Darby Allen. And in fact, it was. Beat Cody Rhodes clean in the middle with a cradle. He is your new. AWTNT champion. Hikaru Shida, Nyla Rose. I would not say that this was a bad match, but I would say that everything else on this show was better. I thought that they went too long, and I'm not the only one because I was reading some feedback today, and they actually built to what would have been the perfect finish, and they kept going. And it was not better for having missed the perfect finish and continuing on. But Akar Shida retains the title. Young Bucks defeated FTR to win the tag team titles. They went, I believe, 28 minutes. 28 minutes and 35 seconds. One of the greatest tag team matches you'll ever see. I liked it better than the Hangman and Omega versus the Young Bucks match. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It had the perfect finish where no flips, just fists. Decided they were going to do some flips. And it backfired on them because they're heels and they were defeated. The Young Bucks are the champions. They can, in fact, challenge for the tag titles again at some point down the road. Matt Hardy beats Sammy Guevara in the Elite Deletion. If you love these Matt Hardy-style final deletion videos, more akin to what they did in Impact than what they did in WWE, this was the match for you. Everything you love about those kind of matches, cameos, Dudes shooting each other with Roman candles. They they paid off all of the times that Sammy accidentally almost killed Matt Hardy by Matt Hardy doing the exact same things to Sammy to beat him at the end. Matt Hardy defeats Sammy Guevara. MJF beat Chris Jericho at his own game. They both tried to cheat, but MJF out-cheated him and defeated him. MJF and Wardlow both in the inner circle, and none of the people that did not want MGF in the inner circle could say anything about it because they were all busy getting deleted by Matt Hardy. And finally, the main event, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. This match was incredible for a lot of reasons. It's not my favorite kind of match. There were thumbtacks, barbed wire puncture wounds, the whole nine yards. But for what they did, it was fantastic. And if you watch the match, I mean, what they basically did was they took a guy that everybody already kind of pretty much loved, Eddie Kingston, even though he's a heel. And they did a match where in quitting, he came across as a bigger babyface. Now, he's not turned babyface yet. This is coming down the road. But as far as storytelling, violence, this was an I quit match. They delivered on the stipulation. There was nobody trying to stop the match. It was two men violently fighting until one of the guys gave up. John Moxley is still the champion. 
I thought this show was fantastic. I should note, every single finish was exactly what you would have expected. With one exception, Mike, I think, thought that Angman was going to win, but he didn't. Other than that, up and down the show, it was exactly what you'd expect because every finish was exactly what they should have done for the direction they're going and the stories that they're telling. I loved it. Any thoughts, Mike? It was a fantastic show. It was a long show, but the stories that they told, I thought, in general, were awesome. Uh, finishing with the main event, Moxley and Kingston, it was not going to be your classic wrestling affair. There was going to be a lot of plunder. There was going to be a lot of violence, and there was going to be a lot of emotion, and they hit it out of the park on that one. Young Bucks and FTR is one of the greatest tag team matches I've ever seen. Uh, when I, we were talking about a couple weeks ago about tag matches, and I brought up how you can main event with those. You can do a, a big, long story with those guys. You know, when your tag teams are that good and they have a story like they told them, yeah, just absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see those two teams in, in the ring with each other again. And I wouldn't suggest they do it soon. You know, make us wait a little bit. You made us wait for three, four, five years, whatever it's been now. Uh, I thought it was just, it was excellent. It, it was just incredible. Uh, Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara, I, I liked where they put that match. I didn't like where they put MJF and Chris Jericho as much. I think just one of those matches would have been a fine buffer, and I think the Elite Deletion was a, a fine one. But regardless, I loved the way that MJF defeated Chris Jericho because he outslimed Chris Jericho. He outthought Chris Jericho. He didn't violently take over the, the inner circle. He didn't go too far as Chris Jericho wanted him to do. He outthought Chris Jericho instead of doing something, some other way to get into the inner circle. So I thought that worked out great. I, I just thought that how they played that, the fact that everybody else was away that didn't want him to be there. The interaction between Sammy and MJF is going to be fantastic. Kenny Omega and Hangman Page was fantastic. Yeah, I threw that, you know, hope spot out there about Hangman Page, but look at the story they're telling with Kenny Omega and how everything is going to heat up now with him in the title picture. So I thought that was awesome. Darby Allen and Cody Rhodes. I mean, what can you say? Cody did everything he needed to do. It was the perfect way to have Darby go ahead and win that title, elevate himself. And then it was even more perfect when you're thinking, okay, you know, who was the bad guy? Before you overthink it too much about what directions both guys can go, they made the direction happen for you because Team Taz goes out there and wreck shop a perfect natural feud for Darby to be in over that title. And you even saw those guys kind of pull on the belt a little bit before Taz took it away from him. So I thought that was awesome. And, you know, the, the rest of the stuff, I don't want to call it just filler or anything like that, but I will say I agree with you on, on Sheeta. And considering the story they told afterwards where, you you know, uh, Vicky Guerrero slapped Nyla for screwing up. I thought in the way where the match should have ended is exactly where you said it should have ended last night with Dave, and it would not have affected that story with Vicky whatsoever. In fact, it, it would have been perfect probably to end right there. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.